what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be making a classic carbonara dish. I have made carbonaras in the past and although they have had techniques of a, carbon and a carbonara, sorry, they aren't quite a classic carbonara. Um, and so today we're going to be making that. I just recently took a history class in Roman cuisine, how it went from just survival to being a culinary delight. Of course, one dish that was highly spoken about was the carbonara dish. And so we're gonna be making that today. Typically I make my carbonara with Parmigiano Reggiano and Pecorino um, and with pancetta but a classic car uh, carbonara has guanciale and that's just uh, the cured pig's cheek so we're gonna be using guanciale today we're not gonna be using Parmigiano Reggiano we're gonna be just using um, Pecorino and I'm just so I'm just so excited to be making this dish today and I hope that one day I find myself in Italy learning you know how the different regions make different foods and what their agriculture is like and what they cultivate so yeah I'm just super excited for life and food and let, let's let's enough with the talking let's just get into cooking because I'm freaking hungry <laughs> Okay guys, here's the food. Ooh, it looks so good. I'm hungry, of course. The coldest water bottle. Cold Wang for 10% off your first purchase. Let's eat. Yay, dig in. We have our pecorino cheese over here. We have our beautiful salad over here, which I put a little bit too much on my plate, but it's fine. this another mix ooh and we're gonna go straight into here to make it extra creamier yeah I don't know if that did much but you know it's the thought that counts <laughs> cheers mmm Oh my god. Yes. Big
make it extra cheesy, extra ooey gooey. Mmm. Mmm. So today we're drinking something a bit different, still Canada Dry, but it is lemonade. I'm trying to taste for a significant difference, and there is. It's okay. I don't think I'd buy it again, to be honest. Canon Dry is hit or miss with their flavors. Sometimes they're really good, but sometimes it's like, meh, whatever. I think that's enough big bites for one day. <laughs> Maybe not. See how I feel. My stomach's growling and I have no idea why because I'm getting pretty full. <laughs> oui, oui. So how's your day going? Sorry, I didn't even ask you how your day is going. How's your day going? <laughs> mm, mine went okay. I had a weird day today. I think this carbonara is good, but if you were to ask me my honest opinion, I like adding more stuff to my carbonara. And I know that is a sin, it is forbidden. After you add something that's not the original recipe, it's not even a carbonara anymore. Honestly, as long as you're enjoying it, isn't that all that matters? Like, this is great, I love it, but I wish I could put some garlic in it. I want to put some pepper in it. You know what I'm saying? I just like a little bit more, you know? Where is the word? I'm not talking shit. I'm just saying. I 
It's so salty, but honestly, so good. So good. Ooh. So, I am going to London. It's going to be my first time ever. I'm going to London in a couple weeks. Hmm. Mm. Ooh. so i've had an english breakfast before i've had english breakfast before but i haven't ever had one in the uk and i don't know if i've had a truly authentic one right i feel like unless you visit there and you kind of get immersed in the culture you never truly know how authentic it is you know so and I just say authentic because I just feel like, you know, throughout the years with food, there's always something added to it. Is anything ever truly original? You know what I mean? Was it, was it different before? How has it changed? But anyways, that's, we'll save that for the politics. <laughs> My point is, is that I've never had English breakfast before. So I'm going to be, I'll let you guys know in the next video what area in London I'm gonna be in but if any of you guys are from the UK and you can tell me a really good English breakfast place to go to well, I guess it would just be breakfast for you <laughs> um, or uh, or like a really good place for like an Instagram photo or like very Instagrammable food but not just Instagrammable food like it's actually good as well let me know because I am so excited I'm going to actually Jamie Oliver's cooking school I hope I get to meet either Jamie Oliver or Gennaro. Those two are huge inspirations of mine, especially Gennaro. I feel like he's my long last, long lost Italian father. <laughs> oh, my grandfather, that at the very least. He's so sweet. I love him. <laughs> so yeah, I am pretty excited to go. I hope that I get to meet them. <laughs> mm. Cute. Nothing, not much left. I just this little piece right here. But I'm actually pretty full, so I think I'm gonna have <clears throat> one more scoop and then I'll be done. Okay guys, this concludes today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you try it. And if you've never tried a classic carbonara, I hope that you do. Um, and yeah, other than that, I'm super full. Thank you for being here. I love you so much. And until next time, <laughs>